The Fairchild Republic A-10 Thunderbolt II was developed for close air support of friendly ground troops. It was designed to be able to attack armored vehicles and tanks, and to provide support against enemy ground forces. The secondary mission of the A-10 is to serve as a forward air controller, directing other aircraft performing ground attacks. U.S. tactical aircraft post-World War II had been largely focused on the ability of quick delivery of nuclear weapons. Because of this, focus had been on high-speed aircraft like the F-101 Voodoo or the F-105 Thunder Chief. When the U.S. got involved in the Vietnam War, they relied on the older A-1 Sky Raider for close air support. But the A-1 was slow and vulnerable to ground fire, and had poor firepower. The U.S. Air Force and the Marine Corps lost 266 A-1s in the Vietnam War. After consulting A-1 pilots that operated in Vietnam, the U.S. Air Force concluded that an aircraft was needed that should have long loiter time, low-speed maneuverability, massive cannon firepower, and extreme survivability. The biography of World War II Luftwaffe attack pilot Hans Ulrich Rudel was also consulted. In May 1970, the requirements of a new aircraft included that the aircraft should be designed specifically for the 30mm rotary cannon. This was to counter the more serious threat from Soviet armored forces. A maximum speed of 460 miles per hour, short takeoff and landing ability and low unit cost were other requirements. Six companies submitted aircraft proposals, with Northrop and Fairchild Republic selected to build prototypes. On May 10, 1972, the Fairchild Republic prototype YA-10 flew for the first time. In January 1973, the U.S. Air Force selected it for production over the Northrop YA-9. General Electric was selected to produce the main feature of the A-10, the 30mm GAU-8 Avenger rotary cannon. Deliveries of production A-10s began in March 1976. By 1984, 715 aircraft had been delivered. The low-wing monoplane design with a large wing area, high wing aspect ratio, and large ailerons of the A-10 gives it great maneuverability at low speeds and altitude, as well as the ability for short takeoffs and landings. It is able to operate under 1,000-foot ceilings for extended periods and flies at relatively low speed. This gives it good ability to target small, slow-moving targets. Another feature of the A-10 design is that it is possible to refuel, rearm and service with minimal equipment. This makes it possible to operate it from forward bases. Many of its components are also interchangeable between the left and right sides. The A-10 is able to survive direct hits from armor piercing and high explosive projectiles up to 23 mm. It has redundant flight and mechanical systems, and is designed to be able to fly with one engine, one half of the tail, one elevator and half of a wing missing. The primary weapon of the A-10 is the 30 mm cannon, which is one of the most powerful cannons ever used in an aircraft. It fires depleted uranium armor piercing shells, and in the later versions it fires 3,900 rounds per minute. Also, the A-10 often carries AGM-65 Maverick missiles and can carry cluster bombs as well as hydro rocket pods. It is equipped to use laser-guided and GPS-guided bombs, and usually carries two AIO-9 Sidewinder missiles for self-defense. Between 2006 and 2010, the A-10s were upgraded with among other things, a new flight computer and new glass cockpit displays and controls. After this additional improvements of the A-10 has been made. The A-10 was used in combat for the first time in the Gulf War in 1991. It destroyed over 900 Iraqi tanks, 2,000 other vehicles and 1,200 artillery pieces, and shot down two helicopters. In Bosnia and Herzegovina 1994-1995, the A-10 fired over 10,000 30mm rounds. In 1999 the A-10 once again operated in the Balkans during Operation Allied Force. It took part in rescue missions as well as ground attack missions. While the A-10 did not participate in the initial stages of the 2001 invasion of Afghanistan, it joined in March 2002. It has remained in service in Afghanistan since then. When Operation Iraqi Freedom was launched in March 2003, the A-10 was involved in the early stages. During that initial invasion of Iraq, the aircraft had a mission-capable rate of 85% in the war and fired 311,597 rounds of 30mm ammunition. The A-10, commonly referred to by the nicknames Warthog or Hog, has been in service since 1976. In 2007, the U.S. Air Force announced that it would be in service until 2028, when it was to be replaced by the F-35 Lightning II. 
However, critics claim that this would be a giant leap backwards. In January 2016, the U.S. Air Force indefinitely canceled the plans for retiring the A-10. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to our channel.